Welcome to episode 12 of Area 69, After Dark. <laughs> Alright, I feel like you guys have been watching Area 69 enough to know that when there's a chair right here, we're going to be having another motherfucking icon coming on. And tonight's guest is literally an icon and i'm more than sure you guys have seen her on your for you page on tiktok because right now she is popping the fuck off and she is so freaking funny she's hilarious she's bubbly she's beautiful she's super duper talented and i'm really really excited to have her on area 69 now this is her very first podcast so we're definitely snatching her little podcast virginity and i'm so blessed to be the one that's doing that because like girl that means a lot that means a lot that she was actually down to come on area 69 for her very first podcast she is literally the queen of impersonations okay and i'm probably more than sure that you probably already have an idea of who i'm talking about mia <laughs> yeah girl so tonight <laughs> Tonight she is coming on. If you guys still don't know who I'm talking about, you're gonna be shook when she actually comes on, okay? I love her so, so much and it has honestly been way too motherfucking long since we last saw each other. Um, we were both going through a breakup about, what, three years ago, four years ago? I don't even remember when, but that was the last time we kicked it. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be really nice to be seeing her again tonight. So with that being said, let's go ahead and introduce her. Tonight's guest is Ashley Blue Dead. Oh my gosh, you guys, it's Britney Spears. She's here at the store. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, Britney. Oh my god. Oh. You found me. Oh yeah. Oh. All you people look at me like I'm a little girl. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I am living. Stop, thank you. I'm living. You have been popping the fuck off on TikTok lately. Thank you. How I, does that feel? Um, it's crazy. Is it? I have never. Obviously, like I've been doing social media forever, right? Right. But like this is like a whole. This is a whole new world. Do you feel like you have like a like a strong fan base now? Yes. Good. I've never felt a stronger fan base in my life. No way. Yeah. It's the TikTok wave. It, yeah. The TikTokers, they go hard, girl. They go hard. They go hard. Yeah. I wish I was like popping on TikTok like that, but nobody cares about me on TikTok. I mean, you are. You got your following like, on there. I feel like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I have followers and thank you to all my followers that support me. But I feel like my main thing is like YouTube. And I wish yeah. that I had your type of energy because you do amazing on TikTok. Thank you so Like, I want to tell you, girl, you are that motherfucking bitch. Oh, like, you really you. are. Oh God, you go so out sweet. in public, you do your little skits, and you've been doing skits. Yeah, I've been you've been. Skits. I remember, like, your baby ones. Yes. yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Go, go, go. Yeah. yeah. Those <laughs> ones go like this. <laughs> my little. <laughs> yeah. She still comes out. She comes she still out. Makes an appearance. Yeah. Oh, I love that for you. But yeah, I mean, it's been it's been literally insane. Like the recognition and yeah. like so many people reposting and like doing what I do and like right. tagging me. Yeah. And like doing the knee clap. That must feel so nice. It feels amazing. It because feels great. You got me knee clapping, girl. Girl, girl. Everybody's knee clapping around the yeah. world. <laughs> And I love it. I'm obsessed with it. Thank you for the knee claps. So when did your Britney Spears era come from? Okay. So I've been like doing Britney Spears probably since I was like, I don't know, 10. Britney was my first concert at five oh, years old. Really? And like, I've always been able to like kind of emulate her a little yeah, bit. Cause yeah. I mean, like that was the first singer that I was absolutely obsessed right, with. Right. My idol, my icon. Mm -hmm. And I mean, on TikTok, I would always like, I used to do the robot thing too. Like, right. A little... Series, yeah, 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 and I would always kind of incorporate her sometimes in there. Yes, yeah. and then one day, me and my best friend, one of my best friends, Andrew, that films my videos. Okay, I he's just, the one that's behind the camera. Yes. Okay. Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Yeah. Spears. 
Yeah, that's him. Um, oh, cute. So uh, one day I was like burnt out. I was like, I don't want to do this robot stuff anymore. Like, I'm sick of it. Like, how many times am I going to go, hi, guys. My right. Like, I don't know how many times I'm going to do Did you that. feel like it wasn't really doing well anymore? It wasn't doing well anymore. It was still like getting views, but like, it was just, I was just like, I'm not having fun anymore. Right. So I stopped and I was like, you know what? I'm not like Britney Spears, but in a crazy different way. And right. I create this character. Just film me. Okay. And we filmed it. And I didn't really even like it. And I wasn't even going to post it. Really? But I had nothing to post the next day. <laughs> Me. <laughs> I had nothing to post. And I was like, yeah. you know what? This has been in my drafts. I'm just going to post this. And at first, it wasn't getting views. And then I just got off my phone. I was like, you know what? Well, whatever. I go to dinner that night. Pop check up. my phone. It's at a million views. And I was like, whoa. Wait a minute. I haven't hit a million in a little bit. <laughs> in a while. Me as fuck. And then it just kept going and going. Next day, 20 million. That Next day, I was insane. like, oh, okay. And then the it just blew. It just blew. And I was like, you know what? Should I just keep doing this? Should I just like right. play these little skits as right. Britney character? And right. like, so I just kept doing it. And it just. And it's crazy because all of her videos, you guys, make sure you guys check her her TikTok. What is it? Ashley Blue Death XO. Okay. Be sure to check it out if you guys haven't already seen her, because I'm pretty sure you guys have already seen her on your For You page. But dude, mostly all of your videos get over a million views no. like girl crazy. that's crazy is it kind of scary sometimes it is it's weird it's just like i, I can't believe it because I'm, I'm like i said i've never had so much recognition right. in like a fan base mm -hmm. like these people actually like me they like they love you girl it's, i love you girl it's intense it's really intense i love you too i'm obsessed with you you're an icon by the way oh, thank like you. the fact that i'm on her podcast right now it's just such a full circle moment because I've loved you forever. We've yeah. obviously been friends for a long time. Yes, we have. But like, you're an icon. Thank You've been you. around forever. Everybody knows you. <laughs> like, you're an OG. Yes. You're like, you're the queen. I am an OG. Yeah. I am an OG. But it's nice to see you doing your big one now. Yeah. Because I feel like now doing TikToks that actually pop the fuck off, it's really hard to do. Yeah. So I want to give you your kudos oh, because, girl... You. She goes out in public and does this stuff. Like, girl, I'm so shy personally that, like, I would never be able to do that. Not because, like, I wish I could. Yeah. But, like, I don't have the balls. Girl, you so, know, like, crazy. do you get shy or do you just not give a fuck or what? So, it's kind of like Beyonce and how okay. she has the Sasha Fierce, right? Oh, okay. So, like, I am very shy and yeah. I'm also very introverted. Yeah. Like, no one believes me when I say that. Because, like, how are you filming in public with people right, around? Right. But, like, when I get into these characters, I don't I care. care. I do mm -hmm. not care. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I don't care who's around me. I don't care who's watching. Right. I don't care. It's crazy. It's like I'm possessed. It's like I'm a I love that vessel. Though. I yeah. love that, and I feel like I really need to, like, channel that. Yeah. Because that's what does good now. Yeah. That's what really makes you pop the fuck off. Right. You have to have balls. You have to. You have to. Right. And you're obviously doing it. You're executing it. Thank you. And here you are now, girl. You know, it's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. I, like, I really don't have balls if you think I do. <laughs> Dude, you do, though. Trust me. Yeah, you I do. Think... Even if you think you don't, personally, I would never have the courage to actually do that type of stuff. Like, yeah, yeah obviously I film in public, but yeah. like, I'm always like serving a look or yeah. something. I'm never like looking dancing. Cr like crazy. No, you don't look crazy. <laughs> you don't look crazy. I look crazy. Like, we don't have to lie about it. <laughs> the outfits I wear in my videos are psychotic. Wait, so you like purposely plan out your outfits and stuff? Some, yeah, like honestly, it's not like planned out, but I'll like go in my closet and I'll be like, what's going to look crazy? Like, oh, okay. how about we wear a jean vest with a pink <laughs> crew neck over the top with a right. blue baggy jean and pink shoes? Okay. But oh, they're all like, you're eating, you're eating. I'm like, baby, stop lying to me. That's crazy. <laughs> oh. I, yeah. I just kind of. I didn't know that. Yeah. Like, I, just, I thought you were just like, okay, fuck it. Let's just go. No, I like go in there and I'm like, let me find the ugliest thing in my closet. <laughs> But everyone's like, she's serving, she's serving. Wait, why is this a look? And I'm like, oh, oh I guess I'll just keep doing. You're like, okay, well, I guess I'm serving, bitch. Yeah, okay, I'll <laughs> serve. And she's serve. also wearing her merch right now. You found you me. You found me, yes. Yeah, that's the other thing where I was like, wow, like, people actually care. Like, I was like, people are buying my merch. Really? And that that's when I was like, whoa. Like, because for someone to buy merch, girl. It's a lot, It's right? a lot. It really like, is. People don't really buy merch. Why do you think I don't do merch anymore? 
It, right, like it's it's weird. I'm it's, surprised. I mean, like I loved your merch. It's so thank cute. you. All the alien stuff. Thank like, you. Yeah, upset the cow. Everything. Yeah, I remember yeah, all the merches. Yeah, really. <laughs> yeah, I didn't have many, but yeah, dude, that's actually why I stopped because it got to a point not where like. I would still make sales. Yeah. But it got to a point where merch wasn't really like a thing anymore. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. No. Like if for I sure. can watch your content for free, I'm going to do that. I don't right. have to buy your shirt or right. your fucking sweater or whatever, right. you know, which I totally understand. But that's why I stopped doing the merch. But you're doing good with it, I guess, right? Yeah. I mean, it's like, it's not like a million sales or anything, right. but it's like, I'm surprised that even a hundred people, right. you know, like I'm surprised. Like, that means it's a lot. crazy to me. Cause that like, means a lot. it really takes a lot to want to buy just somebody's merch. It does. Like, it's just me because personally I don't buy merch. I don't either. I don't like, I was merch. like, do I want to come out with merch? But so many people were like, please come out with you found oh, me merch. And of course, as soon as I released this, they're like, we want fun, fresh and cute merch. I'm like, you guys, uh, let me put this out first. And I'll come out with that maybe in the future. But. They're like, wait, I don't want that one. Do I want that saying. Yeah. I want I want one on the escalator. Like, what do you what? How what? No, much what did you say? Escalator. Oh. <laughs> they love that. They love what so when I like walk and I get on the escalator, yeah. I go, let's go on the escalator. And they love how I say that. That's so funny, <laughs> dude. I live for that though. Do you feel like you want to pursue that type of content or do you, do you kind of want to start doing more personable content? So I used to do more like a little more personable, but like I feel like people come to my page at this point to escape. They want to mm -hmm. watch. I get so many comments. Like I was in a rut a today. Lot. Like I was in like I was in such a bad place today and I came here and like you took me out of that. And mm -hmm. I'm like, I want that. I want to keep my platform a place where people feel like they can escape and laugh and be like, what the hell is right. going on? Right. And I love that. But I mean, I will, I will, I'll sprinkle some in there as yeah, well. Yeah, I think a sprinkle is cool. Yeah. Because one thing I will say, personally, if I could not be super personable and not have to publicize like my personal life, mm -hmm. I probably wouldn't. Yeah. Just because at the end of the day, this is our real life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. we just have a camera in front of us, mm -hmm. but I would say stick to what you're doing. Yeah. Because you said you're an introvert. I am an introvert, but I, I do like I do like sharing things with people. I genuinely do. But it's also like, I don't even know if they want to see that, to be oh, honest. Okay. Like, I don't even really... I mean, maybe they do. Maybe some people do. But I, in my opinion, feel like y'all just want me to be like, Ugh! all the time. <laughs> Which I love being like, Ugh! all the time. But like... <laughs> Dude, I, I will sprinkle it in, I promise. Yeah. But like at the end of the day, this is what I want to keep doing. My dream is to be on Saturday Night Live. Like that's my dream. I think you have the potential, dude. Yeah. I think you really do. I pray like, you're really... able to like switch yeah. instantly. I just Which love is it. so impressive. Thank you. So impressive. Thank like you. it takes a lot. And that's why I keep saying that you do have balls because like it takes a lot. I can't do that type of shit. Yeah. I know a lot of other people can't do that type of shit either. Yeah. But yeah, dude, it's hard. Like, <laughs> I feel like when I'm doing it, I'm just like, I feel like anybody can do this. You like know? you're very <laughs> animated. Yeah, I am. And that's hard Crazy. to do. That's a yeah. talent. Thank it really you. is. Oh believe God. it or not. But it yeah. genuinely, genuinely is. Even if I were to sit here and try a girl, like <laughs> it just doesn't, it's not the vibe. It's not the vibe. I feel like you could do it. Maybe. I feel like you could. Like, I've seen you be a silly willy. Like, I feel like you can pull some stuff out. <laughs> yeah. Your characters. In my own way. But, yeah. but, but but what I'm saying is that you just, when you tune into your, like, Britney era. Yeah. You just, you're literally channeling Britney. Right. Like, you're literally channeling Britney. And one thing I wanted to talk to you about. Yeah. Or ask you how you feel about. Yeah. Um, I was on your comments the other day. Mm. And someone was saying. <laughs> you said. Mm. <laughs> yeah, girl. <laughs> Someone was saying that, like, you're mocking Britney. Oh, thank God you brought this up. Thank God you brought How this up. How do you up. feel about that? I hate that comment because, okay, one, like I said, I have been in love with Britney since I was five years old, okay? I don't, I would never mock her. Also, it's more of, like, a character. I can sound like her. Right. But right. is Britney in the mall knee clapping? No. Is Britney going up an escalator yeah. and going, I'm going up the escalator, yeah. let's go shopping? No, right. she's not doing that. Right. It's more of a character. I'm it's playing like the voice. It's the, it's the voice. Yeah. And you know what? Britney doesn't even really sound like that. Yeah. They're like, Ugh! like, you know, like I've created this character. I can sing like Britney, but like, I hate when people say that because it's not, it's not that serious. First yeah. of all. And Britney has gone through so much stuff and I would never want anyone to feel like I'm making fun of her. Cause right. at the end of the day, I'm not, it's, you know, 
I feel like personally I've never gotten that vibe yeah. from your content. Mm -hmm. Like I can just tell that it's like it's just channeling Britney. Mm -hmm. It's not to like make fun of her or anything like that. You're not saying anything like rude or anything of that sort. Yeah. So I don't really know why people would I just it's think just the internet. I people think. just like to say stuff. Right. And like it's very rare when I get those comments, to be honest. It's mm -hmm. pretty rare, but when they do comment, like it's wild because like my the, my followers will literally be like attack. <laughs> yeah. And I'm like Okay. <laughs> Thank you. But like, be you nice. Know, like they're protecting you? Yes. Oh, okay. Very well, protective. They have like yeah. fan based. That yes. Protects they're very protective and they're like, it's not that serious. Like she's not even like making fun of her. Like there's a lot of things I could say to make fun of Brittany right. and I would right. never do that. So it's like, I don't know. I kind of just deal with it. I'm not going to like let it get to me because mm -hmm. I know what I'm doing. Right. If you guys don't like it, like just don't watch it. Like, if it really Skate, is, girl, yeah. if you really have to block her, block her. Block me. But, like, girl, I'm <laughs> sure if you're watching it, if you're watching the content to comment and hate, you enjoy it. Yeah. You enjoy it. Because when I personally hate, like, someone, not someone, but, like, someone's content or anything like that, I'm not going to watch them at Ever all. Ever again. At all. Yeah. Like, bye. I'm like, bye. do Don't not recommend. Me. Yeah. Yes. Do, do not, not recommend. recommend. I love that button <laughs> so much. I love that button. It's yeah. only, it's very so often I use it, but when I use it, it it's serious. Yeah. Like, I don't want to see this. Exactly my point. <laughs> yeah. Okay, Queens. So, you're going to be the very first guest to do the claw. Oh, God, really? Yes. Oh, my God. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, it's coming back. This was a part of Area 69, The Smoke Show. And did you ever watch that? Or of no? course. That's like the first podcast you did. It yeah. was like a podcast, Dude, yeah. right? It was, yeah, yeah, it was. It was. I didn't call it a podcast, but, but it, it was. technically was. Yeah. And a lot of you guys were like, Annette is the OG of the podcast. And I was like, you that's you know what? You might be right. You, you are. might be right. You are. That was a podcast. It was. It was. You've I was just stone out of my brain. Yeah. Okay. I loved that. I used yeah. to watch it all the time. You just sit in there and just like doing your thing i loved it girl i could never know oh girl i could never know same like, i don't know how the fuck i used to smoke like that before. i remember you asked me to come one time and i was like oh you were like no thanks no i wanted to come but i'm like i need to be prepared <laughs> mentally to come You're into like, this I have to eat before i go <laughs> for sure yes yeah. okay so what you do with the claw okay you grab a little coin okay and my god i put her in right here <gasps> okay right here yeah mm -hmm. Okay, and now you go ahead and move it, girl. Oh my god. Which one do I move? Oh. Oh. There she goes. Which one do I move? Okay. Oh. Oh. Now okay. we lift it up. <laughs> I want to help a girl out. I'm oh. screaming. I'm like, is it going? I break no. it. First guest ever to use this breaks it. Oh, oh my god, you guys. Thank god. Okay, no. Oh, like. <laughs> okay, how do I release her? Uh, you go down. There you go. It's getting fast. Yay! That was something. Yeah. <laughs> That was actually hard. Yeah. That was really difficult. I thought this was going to be like an easy little claw, going to get the little question no, out. You have to concentrate, girl. Yeah, no, that was work. Yeah. You put me to work with that. Okay. okay. So go ahead and open her up. Okay. Let's see what you got. I'm scared for you. <laughs> you struggling? They really said, hold on, you guys. <laughs> okay, I got it. Yeah. I got she it. She got it. She got it. I got it. Okay. Top three pet peeves. Oh, okay. Okay, this is easy. Okay, go ahead. These are kind of like stupid too, but one is this like in general? In general. Okay. I hate when people have like <laughs> that little like white buildup on the sides of their mouths, and then they, they talk, talk, and then they and talk, like, and it goes. Ew, when they talk, dude, I hate that. That's too. like literal. I'm like so <laughs> serious. That's like number one pet peeve. Like that's the top one. I, that's like the top. Like and you that, just stare at it, huh? and I stare and at like, it, and I'll like get grossed out. My stomach will hurt, and I'm just like, how does that even happen? Like, are you not drinking water? Like, do you not feel it, girl? <laughs> and like, I'm like, what's going on there? Like, what is that? Also, <laughs> what is that? White I think stuff? it's like crusty saliva. <laughs> yeah, I think it is, girl. I think it's disgusting. It is. So that's like number one. Okay. This is three. Um, okay. 
The third is the second. second. Oh, the second. Whoa. Yeah. Am I okay? You're skipping one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Where am I? Um, okay, so the the second. I almost said it again. The second puppy, let's see. You're like the saliva one. Again. Yeah. Again. <laughs> <laughs> when people like watch the TV too loud. Oh, okay. Like that drives me like nuts. Blasting. Like blasting, and then I'm like, "Can you turn it down?" And they're like, "No." Like I want to watch this. I'm like, "But it doesn't have to be 800 volume up. <laughs> like it's too loud. Like I don't know why I'm so like noise sensitive. Like if things are too it's loud, true. I'm just like, please. Like I'm yeah. gonna have an anxiety attack in four minutes if you don't do turn you it on. Do you get upset when like people chew too loud? Um, if it's like slimy stuff, like if it's like like wet like moist yes like yeah. that's a little what is that called misnophobia is not like a thing misnophobia oh, yeah I think it's called misnophobia oh, well, i had definitely had that yeah me yeah. too that's yeah. that comes oh, with close. gum oh girl like, if you smack the gum pop it if you mm. ooh, is that girl. one for you yeah really yes. i don't really mind a little gum smack no no mm -mm. she said no, not for me not not for me okay. it triggers me so bad oh i have another one okay when people have stinky, stinky, stinky dogs. Like, why does your dog smell like that? Like, why does he smell like Doritos? L or no, like Doritos spinch. is okay because, you know, a lot of dogs' paws actually smell yeah. like Doritos, and I don't I like that. I love that. Like, I, I will love that. I'll smell my dog's paw. If that's yeah. weird, I don't know what you want. Me You're to husky, do that. right? Yes. Mm. I'll smell his paws. He would have been happy to run around here, but he's a lot. Like, he's like, I'm going to shit right he's here. He's actually really sweet. No, he doesn't shit anymore. Oh, he's good. actually really sweet. <laughs> um, but yeah, like, I, there's a lot of people I know that are just like random people. I'll go like come and hug their dog. And I'm like, when was the last time you gave that dog a bath? Yeah. It's itchy. You're like the stench is stenching girl. Yeah. Like I could smell your pup from a mile away. Right. No, literally. I know this is like, it's not like my pet peeves are not really tea. Like it's not even that crazy. Like that. You thought <laughs> no, like, oh, I hate, I hate when like, oh, uh, no, like literally it's all like nasty stuff. Like don't crust up, wash your pet and like, don't, it's hygiene. Stuff. Don't smack your mouth. Yeah. Like with gooey shit in there. Yeah. Like, I don't know. It's all, it's literally all hygiene stuff. I think I'm the same way. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. Wear deodorant. Yes. Be clean. There's a lot of things. Wear some perfume. <laughs> yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's all hygiene stuff. But yeah, I think those are the three. Okay. I'm like trying to think of more because I feel like those were not tea. Like those weren't like hard hitting. But those were your top three. Yeah. So it's okay. okay. It's okay. Three. Those were your top three. What are you? I am Sicilian and uh, Egyptian and a few other things. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. I mean, my mom says we're like Portuguese. My mom says we're a bunch of shit. <laughs> yeah. She's always She's like ancestry.com. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Yeah. She's like, oh, look, another one came up. We're actually Venezuelan today. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, mom, so what am I? A lot of people think I'm Latina. Uh -huh. A lot of people think I'm Middle Eastern, which I am. I thought you were Middle Eastern. I am. Okay. And I am for sure because my dad's side, I'm Sicilian and a little Iraqi. On my mom's side, I know for sure I am because when she did do the DNA, it was like a lot, a lot. Like, yeah. Okay. Egyptian. Yeah. And like Arab Peninsula or whatever. But Egyptian is Middle Egyptian East. is Middle East. Oh, yeah. I'm I'm kind of dumb. It's so, okay. I'm kind of dumb. Yeah. Uh, you said. <laughs> it's some pasta. What the fuck? Do you fuck? like pasta? I love pasta. I love you can He hates Italian food. I don't Every time I cook it. for him, I I'm just... a good Italian cook because I mean, like, I learned from you my grandma. For me? Yes. Girl, can you make me pasta? That's like the easiest thing to cook. Yes. Make me pasta. I will make you some pasta. With some, do you like bolognese? What's that? It's like the meat sauce. Yeah. You do? Like, like, what do you like? Are you, yeah. I'm more of like Alfredo. Okay, you like the cheese. Yeah, the cheese. Girl, I can make you the bomb the Alfredo cheese. with like truffle. Do you like truffle? That's like cheese, right? No, truffle is like a, a seasoning. Oh. And it's like bomb. Oh, I'm down to try it, girl. <laughs> if it's cheesy, yeah. It's so, no, it's literally so good. Like, I would love to cook you Italian. Like, an actual, like, Italian dinner, like, pasta. <gasps> I'll do, like, some, a lot of stuff for you. It's say less, yeah, so, like, You let me know when to go, and yeah. I will show up. Yeah. I and mean, I won't eat that entire day. <laughs> please. I will literally, like, we can just eat. Look, bang the house. Iconic. So, what do you eat, like, normally? No. I love fried chicken. Oh, okay. I love chicken fingers. Everywhere Are I you go. like, a DoorDash queen? DoorDash oh, queen. Okay. King. Yeah, me too, girl. DoorDash king. Yeah. Like, it's like... <laughs> 
You're like, like I'm, I'm over there. And he, I'm the he king. always talks shit about me. He's like, why do you spend so much money? I'm like, because one, like, I can't get all the, like, restaurants, like, right here. Yeah. Like, I want to, like, door dash it. And I'm yeah. lazy. I don't. I love that I can just, if I can order it, why am I going to drive? Right. Exactly. Even if I'm getting charged $300 more, yeah, it's okay. Literally, like, yeah. literally $300 more. <laughs> yeah. Like, it's literally, I ordered McDonald's the other day, it was $30. And it's, like, right around the corner. And it's right around the corner. Yeah. And I'm just like, but it was so simple. Yeah. Like, I just showed up. Gonna, I'm in my underwear. Yeah. I'm cool. I'm chilling. It's like Whatever. a fairy comes, <laughs> drops off the food, and I live for that. I yeah. love McDonald's. Oh, my God. If you guys are a DoorDash delivery person, we love you guys so much because you guys make us happy, girl. Yeah. Definitely. Because I am a DoorDash whore. I, I'm, an, I'm a Postmates whore. Oh, you like, I, I do like Postmates. This is the same conversation I had with my cousin yesterday. He's like... <laughs> What? Because we both ordered food. He yeah. did DoorDash, and I did Postmates, and I was like, "Wait, your food came so fast. His food came so fast with DoorDash." Yes, mm -hmm. and I ordered before him at a place that was closer to our place. I ordered. Uh, what did I order the other day? I ordered Wingstop, which is literally white, white, right there, right there. <laughs> and he ordered somewhere far. It yeah. came so fast. He's like, "Why don't you do DoorDash?" I was like, "I don't know. I've just always been a Postmates girl." And he's like. Ew. The Postmates sucks. Really? Yes. What is the team about DoorDash that's so much better? It just, it has more places. Mm -hmm. It's quicker. Okay. And it's cheaper, I think. Really? Uh, is it cheaper? By like a dollar, maybe. Like they're all the same at yeah. this point. I mean, they're all really expensive. I will say that. They but, are. But I well, think Well, you can like have the membership, too. Do you I have, have the membership. membership. Yeah, I think Dude, I need to get I, back on. I, I, I like got membership. on for a minute because I was like cooking and like... You're like, oh, I'm now I think now. Yeah, now I'm like, I think I should get back on that membership. Yeah, I think saving so. me my nine dollars a month. You know, it's saving it you. The, it's saving you the little. Bits. You know, even if it saves a dollar, it makes me feel better. Right. It's true. Does. True. Right. I, honestly, I do it like every day, low key. Like la Okay, last night we ordered this dessert. I'm gonna throw up thinking about it. I like to try it. Like, I always am like, babe, like, I want to order, a, like, dessert tonight. I'll, I'll order from, like, different places. You're like, hey, babe, do you want some of this? Yeah, literally. <laughs> I li every, like, literally, this happens, like, a couple times a month. I'm like, I want to order a dessert. Let's try yeah. this. And last night, okay, so we ordered, like, this this thing. I'll show you. Let me see. Let me show you this. Because I'm the best. same way. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a, I'll send you this if you want to, like, put this on the screen. Yeah. And put it to me, please. Because look at this. Wait, but isn't it bad? It this one was good. Okay, it was cute. I didn't take a picture of the other thing, but it was like <laughs> that's how bad it was. It was good. <laughs> then I like you know when you like try something new and you like really want to be optimistic, you're like right. it's good. Like, mm. And then like I'm taking more bites and I'm like, oh my god, this is so gross. Well, I love about? mochi and stuff like that. Okay. I love like Japanese desserts. Right. But when you give like there's like red bean in there and stuff. I've never tried that. It, like, just threw me. I usually like that, but it just threw me for a loop. So it was mochi. It was mochi with red bean and, like, this, uh, like, jello at the bottom and then, like, this cream. And it was just, like, the 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 textures together. Oh, it was very... It was very... Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. It was very that. <laughs> <laughs> it literally made me want to yak. So I'm the same way. <laughs> never again with that. I'm the same way. But that one was good. The one I sent you was the good. little jelly. It was like it was like a milk jelly, but like as soon as you put it in your mouth, it like melted, melted. and it had like these little green tea cereal crisps. Oh, so it tasted so like crisp. a like a cereal crisp. Mm -hmm. So it tasted like cereal jelly, like milk jelly with cereal. So it just tastes like cereal. Oh, okay. I'm trying to be all like technical with it. Oh, yeah. It's like cereal. <laughs> yeah, I love the description. It was good. It was good. It was good. It was good. I liked it. It was fresh and cute. Dude, I can't with that texture. I can't either. I, I can't. I got nauseous. I fully was like, maybe I think I'm gonna throw. You were like, Yar! like for real. It was giving booger. Ew. It was giving like flu. Definitely booger. season. It was giving flu season. Like a <laughs> loogie, at that point, girl. I'm gonna throw up. Exact, uh. the exact texture. So like, imagine like it looks like it and tastes like it. Bye. It was. Why like, did you taste it, girl? At that point, I why did you taste it? Reading? It looked so good in the picture. <laughs> and when it came, it looked very interesting and good. And like, it, I don't know. Was it never? You're again? like, no, thank you, girl. You also do music. Yes, I do. You're a singer. Yeah. Can you sing a little bit? 
Sure. Um, I have a, my new song, You Found Me, is out, and it's really cute. I love it. Um, it literally, it's, You, you Found Me. me. <laughs> That's all it is, really. Oh, That's all Dude, it is. You're actually a really talented singer. Thank you so much. You really are. And I feel like you don't really show that too much. Yeah. Why? Uh, well, I mean, I've been showing it a lot more as of recent since I have, like, really, like, exploded on the internet. I'm really right. taking advantage of this moment right. to promote my music yeah. because they actually are listening. Like, the Spotify numbers are going up and everything's going Good. up. And, like, that's yeah. all I really wanted, you know, is, right. like, for that, a platform to, like, blow up so I can push my music. So are you more into music versus entertainment? Um, I would say... You know, music has always been my number one forever since I was a little girl. Like, that's all that I've ever wanted to do. But in the terms of, like, entertainment, I think that just in a whole, I, I love it all. I love to act. Right. I love improv. Improv is what I do best. That's, like, what? That's, like, like what skits? what you see, oh. it's all improvised. Like, I don't cut it. It's all in one take. It's oh, not that's written that down. Is. Yeah, when oh. stuff is, like, like, like literally raw. raw. It's raw, uncut, like... It's all in my head. I didn't script any of my videos. Like, Dude, I no. We did a TikTok before we started, and she, girl, as soon as the camera started, she was like, <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, girl, how do you do that? I'm crazy. Have you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm crazy. I'm a little crazy, you know? I love escalators. But do you, like, practice that, or no. does it just come naturally? It comes naturally. Dude, you're so... I don't want to toot my own horn, but that. yeah, it comes naturally. No. I've never... It's never practiced. That's ever. iconic. Thank you. Because for me, to even film a TikTok girl, I have to practice like 20 times. Really? Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. That's why when we filmed our TikTok, I was like, <laughs> like what, what do I do? do? I'm like, just dance, be your cute self. Uh, she did she great. Like, <laughs> she did great. Yeah. We did like, a little knee clap. Yeah. The knee clap. I can do that. that. Yeah. Yeah. I can it's do not that. hard. It's... <laughs> Anybody can do a little one too, you know? Yes, yes. But yeah, dude, that's iconic. Thank you so much. I just like, it's something that comes natural to me. I love doing it. I feel like once you find something you love to do, it comes natural. I love you know? that for you. Thank you. And I wish that I like come across that because yes, I love doing social media yeah. and stuff, but I feel like there's a bigger picture for me right. that I haven't found yet. I'll bring you out of your shell. I hope so. I will. I'll I bring you out. So. I'll, I'll take it out, bro. She just met Emmy. Her man just met Emmy as well. And he was a little shy. He was a little shy. He was a little shy, but he was warming up. He was warming guys. up. I, I cracked a little smile. Yeah. He was, oh, he was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Yeah. Like, he, <laughs> yeah. I love making, like, random noises to babies because I just feel like I just get in there in their brain. They're yeah. like, oh, is this a, what is this cartoon? I'm They're watching. like, what? Yeah. Is. They think. But, dude, I was also telling her. You're so good mm. that you can do, like, Miss Rachel type shit. Right. I would love to do You're that. You're so animated. Coming soon. And Coming I soon. love that about you. Thank you. I really do. Oh, thank you I so really much. do. I wish I was like that because even as a mom, I'm like, okay, I feel like I have to be more, you know, cutesy, more, like, energetic and <laughs> yeah. stuff, you know? So... I feel like that's been hard for me because yeah. I'm not like that. It's naturally. hard, especially if you're a mom. Like you're so you're catering but it to comes, your kid. It comes you're to you naturally, too. though. Yeah, I'm exhausted. You're tired, babe. <laughs> I'm ex Do you see these under bags? No, under eye bags. I don't see anything because I have concealer. You look gorgeous. That's Do you guys see any bags? That's why. But when I have no makeup on, girl, oh, my under good. eye bags are like terrible, girl. Mm. You're tired. <laughs> you got a baby. You, you have a life to take care of. Yeah, girl. But still, I feel like you'd be good at, like, you know, you're silly. I know you. You're a silly girl. She's a silly yeah, girl. Yeah, I am a silly girl. Yeah. But you like to have fun. And it like, takes a lot for me to actually, like, do it. Do it. And, like, capture it. Do it. Yeah. Because I still get embarrassed. Yeah. I get that's embarrassed. That's something that's really hard to overcome. Like, Oh, that's something that people ask me. Like, how are you not embarrassed to do this? Especially in front of people. Right. You just have to let go and not, and not care. Give a fuck. You can't care about anybody. Yeah, you can't. You can't. You can't. Because you're just going to, like, if you want to do this or even be in this industry at all, whether it's makeup, fashion, comedy, skits, you literally cannot care. And I feel like a lot of people want to do this and they care too much and they never do it. Right. You can't care. You're already there. You, I'm you're taking already, notes, girl. But you're already there. You're already here making, you have a podcast, you make content. Like, you're already there where you don't give a F about what people think. You know what, though? I feel like for me, people judge too hard. Yeah. 
you know what i mean yeah like i feel like i've been in the game for so so long yeah to the point where like if i start to do something that's a little bit out of my comfort zone they're like what are you doing they clock Why? it did you ever see my uh red bull videos i don't know i'm not sure probably not because i only what? did like one or two what was it I would do Red Bull videos, like okay. ASMR. Oh, and yeah, of people, course, with the nails and everything. Yes, I with the nails. Oh, my God. I would sit there and literally, I would, like, drool. Yeah. I, mean, I was like, obsessed. <laughs> I love those. You have the nails with, like, the shit yes, off. One would fall dude, off. Yes, that was even iconic. Yes. But people hated that. How could, because they don't want to see you do anything different. They don't. They'll hate on anything that's not beauty, cutesy. Right. But it's because I have my set, like, audience or Yeah. Anything. So it makes it a little bit hard for me to yeah, like branch I get that. out. You know, I get that. But once you do, you'll get even more of an audience. And if right. the people that don't want to stay for that, they're not your real people. Right. You know, right? Yeah, it's a learning. I love process. that. I loved the ASMR, and oh, I think you should still you. do it because I lived for it. You and know, I know what? what I did. I like had the best time in my life doing that shit. Like I, I actually tell. felt like I'm having fun. Like I'm doing this for me, whatever, who gives a fuck. So what other impressions can you do? Oh girl, I can do a couple. So obviously there's Brittany and I love Brittany. Um, I think I did it again. I made you believe we're more than just friends. Yes. I'm like, Brittany, is that you? <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, I can do Shakira. Okay. Let's hear it, girl. Ooh. For the Latinas, oh, let's no. hear it right now, girl. Lole, lole, lole. <laughs> lole, lole, lole. Does that hurt? No. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Lole. Lole. Come on, do it. Come on. Lole. Lole. <laughs> okay, but like, do you use your stomach? Uh, lole. Your chest? I use my like throat for oh, that one. Okay. Lole. Lole. <laughs> I want tonight and my hips don't lie and I'm starting to feel what's right. Okay, I can't do that, girl. Oh boy, I can see your body moving. But you use a lot of like throat. <laughs> that uh, yeah, is yeah. throat. It's throat action. Oh. Lole. You're a pro at that, girl. Oh, oh you're a pro. She's a pro with the throat action. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, apparently, I'm not. Oh. In, oh. in that way. Oh. <laughs> girl, I can't even try that shit right now. Oh, God. no, girl. Like a yodel, 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 yodel. Dude, <laughs> you're actually so talented, though. Thank you so much. You can use your throat. I can use my throat. Uh, I can. I can also like do. That. Don't um, be dirty right now. Yeah, like stop. Just stop yeah, it. Yeah, but like singing stuff. Yeah, like, dude, you're actually so good. Thank you. I can. Uh, like I feel like you can do opera. Oh, you want to hear some? Yeah. Can I be loud? Yes, go ahead. <laughs> and that's on opera. Boots. That's iconic, <laughs> dude. Thank you. That probably I got the chills, dude. That's iconic. Thank you. Oh my god, stop. I literally never do opera. I don't think and this is like my first opera debut on your podcast. I've You're never so good. I always do that like around the house. I never do that like on social media, so don't come for me if that was bad. No, it wasn't bad though, girl. Thank you. What? Yeah. I love doing that. You got a prize. <laughs> She's the prize, girl. The song here. She's yes. the prize. I can also do Nicki Minaj a little bit. Okay. A little bit. Let's hear her. Hey yo, <clears throat> hey yo, it's Nikki. Hey yo, hey yo. <laughs> hey, but what do you do to your throat? Like, this one is like, girl. Let me comprehend. Like, it really is like you. You kind of like. I didn't even realize it's really all in the throat. Like I can do certain things with my throat. It's like, hey yo, no man. Hey yo, I'm like looking at your throat. I'm like, what's going on right now? Ah. Yeah. <laughs> But obviously, you know, Britney really um, captivated that audience. Do you feel like you gravitate towards Britney because it does better or because you do it better? So, um, no. I feel like I can do, like, Britney's just... You're pretty good at everything. I feel like Britney's just really fun. It's right. really fun. I can, oh, and I can also do Kim Kardashian. Okay. Yeah. Let's hear her. Hey, guys. It's Kim. I just came out with my new Skims collection. <laughs> and then Courtney's more like, Kim, Kim, 
Is it even organic? Sounds like Courtney. <laughs> <laughs> For sure. So did you practice all of that? Um, or you just, I it comes it's, naturally. It comes naturally. I've learned a lot of things in the shower. I feel like in the shower, it really, <laughs> it really shower. brings out the best of me in there. Yeah. So casually, you just like practice in your yeah. shower. Literally, it's so casual. Um, I've always done impressions though since I was little. Like I've just always loved to impersonate and You've just been that girl. do improv. That's why I want to be on Saturday Night Live because that's like what they do. You know. I think you definitely have potential for that. Yeah, for those sure. are those are my goals. Like yeah. to be on Saturday Night Live for my music, obviously to do good. I do want to do like more acting and stuff too. Right. I just I love to. So act. you like to act? I love too. it. I love it. Have you ever been like on any movies? I've done a couple shorts? little little things, little things here and there. Uh -huh. Nothing extravagant, but yeah. I mean I'm done a few things you know do you like pitch yourself to like um not really i do need to like should. i need to create like a demo reel because because when you do acting you have to go to like um like interview agencies and stuff, and stuff. Like i need an age i need an acting agent you should do it but i need to make a demo reel that's what, what i'm lacking that? so it's like a demo reel is like showcasing your talent and like how you can act and stuff right but like I mean, my TikTok is a demo reel. <laughs> like, <laughs> right. You're like, just look at my TikTok, like, girl. Just look at my I mean, for SNL, I like, shout out to SNL. I love you so much. I've loved you since I was little. We love you here. Please bring Ashley on Bring SNL. me on, Castle. Please. Even if it's just a guest role, I don't care. I would have loved to be on that show because it's all what I do. It's improv, it's singing, it's acting, and it's everything that I am. Right. Is that show. Yeah. So, yeah, like... I just love one day Ashley is going to be on SNL one day. Let's one manifest day. that one day. I'm manifesting it because girl, you have potential. You have the vocals. You have the personality. You're so able much. to switch from like, girl, well, you're an actor. Yeah, you really are an actor. For Thank sure. You. For I sure. I appreciate it. I really appreciate it. I, that's all I want to do. I just want to entertain. I love entertaining people. I just like making people laugh. Yeah. It's like my favorite thing. And you're doing it, girl. Thanks. You're doing that shit. Thank you. And period. Circling back to like SNL and stuff like that, I really truly see myself doing more obviously like big shows. Big shit. shows, yeah. Like yeah. acting, doing more improv, possibly in the future doing a stand up show. I am oh, in yeah. talks of doing that already, possibly. Like comedy. Yeah. Okay. Doing what I do now, but on stage, you yeah. know? Um SNL again is like literally the dream. Right. Um and promoting my music and all that stuff. Like I wanna be on tour. I wanna do I wanna do this on a bigger Bigger, a bigger platform. skill. Yeah. Yeah. Like, that's where I see myself. I feel like I totally 1000% see you doing that, dude. Thank you. And I hope whenever you do go on a show, you invite me, girl, because I will most definitely be there. You'll be my guest. Girl. You're coming with. You're dude, coming I with. I can totally see you doing that. I, it's my dream. You have it. Like, you have it in you. Thank it's you. built into you. I don't know. I don't see myself doing anything else. I don't have a backup plan. Mm -hmm. This is all I've got. Yeah. And, like, that's it for me. I'm not going to stop till I get that. Even if I'm 58, I'm going to still try and do what I want to do. Yeah. Yeah. But I think you're on your way there for sure. 1000% because even though TikTok might not seem like a big platform, dude, that is the platform to get known. Yeah. That's the platform to execute. That's the platform to really set your future. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So I, I definitely do think that you're on the right path. For sure. For sure. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Thank you for coming on. Of Please. course. I love you so much. I and you too. I appreciate you so much. And like, I'm so proud of you. Oh, thank you're, you're, you, queen. Your um, son is so cute. <laughs> you can tell you're like the best mom in the entire thank world. You. I appreciate and that. I'm like so proud of you. And I'm so lucky to be on here. Like, I feel so lucky. And like, literally, this is my first podcast ever. It is. Ever. It so. Is. To be, this is my first, like, for this to be my first podcast, I think is so It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a big deal. It's a really big deal. It's a big, deal, really big, deal, it's a big deal for me as well because, you know, like, I mean, dude, I'm, I'm a newbie to the podcast. You're era. doing great. It doesn't seem like it. So, <laughs> yeah, I appreciate that. But I am a newbie and it does get intimidating. So to know that this is your first podcast and you chose my podcast to be the first podcast that you come on. Yeah. It means a lot. And there's been a lot of people asking. Yeah. I, I bet. Like, dude, I bet. I want to go on this one. Ah, you're like, seriously. Area 69. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Bye. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, another hug. I guess you mama. Okay, you guys, so that's all we have for tonight's episode. Be sure to check out Ashley's merch. 
You found me. What's the website? It's on bon on Bonfire. You guys, it's only on Bonfire. There's literally thousands of websites that copied my merch and it's selling. Really? Yes, thousands. No way. So do not get it anywhere other than Bonfire. It's going to be up for like 10 more days. Okay. I don't know when this is coming like out. About a week. Yeah, so it'll yeah. be up still. So if you can snatch it, get it. It's very exclusive. Don't get anywhere else but Bonfire. It's yeah. in the, all the links in my bio. If you can't find it, it's bonfire.com. If you don't get it from Bonfire, you're getting scammed. You're getting scammed. You're getting scammed. But yeah. Okay. And what's your um, TikTok, your Instagram? My TikTok is Ashley Blue Duff XO, and my Instagram is Ashley Blue Duff, and I'm also on all streaming platforms. My music is on all streaming platforms. Yes. Push her music, girl. Listen to her music because she is genuinely a fucking artist, Thank girl. You. Thank she you. She has so vocals, Miss Queen. Thank yes. Thank you so much. Thank you so much once again for coming on. I love you so much. Thank you for having of me. Course. I'll be back. Uh, she will definitely be back. back. Okay. So with that being said, we love you guys so, so much. And I will see you guys next Sunday at 7 p.m. Bye.